everyone and welcome to Steam Next Fest. It's that time of year again where we roll up our sleeves and dive into some more demos. And I've been very, very privileged to be part of an early access to a couple. Um, Hooded Horse, the publisher, have given me early access to this game, Blacksmith Master, and one other, uh, which will be coming to the channel as well at some point today. And uh, yeah, I must admit, I was really, really pleased to receive this, not only because it's just, well, it's just great, but also because I was a massive fan of this game's predecessor called Tavern Master, in which you, yeah, looked after a tavern in the sort of medieval times, built it all up and managed it all, and it was just all very calm and casual and just all very nice and chilled. So, yes, I am very keen to see what is coming in this one. I appreciate that the game is going to be uh, somewhat the same. Um, I'm hoping to see some nice new additions to the game, nice new features. But ultimately, if they can capture the same essence and feel of the first one, I think I am going to very much enjoy it. So whilst I've got you guys, whilst you're with me at the moment, please do like and comment down below. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell for more updates. And let us now dive into blacksmith master so like always with these team next fest demos this is not going to be a multi-series playthrough or multi-part playthrough or anything like that this is going to be a one-off look at the game um so that we can get a feel and a flavor for what's to come when this game releases uh has this got a release date let me just double check i thought i saw one uh where are we looking blacksmith master it does not have a release date uh it's just 2024 at the moment um, I believe that is the same for the other game that I'll be talking about as well, uh, which is fine. That's absolutely fine. So welcome. This is your new workshop where many amazing weapons and tools will be crafted. Since we don't have anyone to help out yet, let's finish some work manually. Press tab to switch from manager mode to controlling your... Ca okay, well, this, <laughs> this immediately is new. We could, as far as I'm aware, unless I have missed a very large gameplay section in uh, Tavern Master, we could not do this. We have a lot of different blacksmithing tools inside. Most importantly, a furnace where we will heat the ingots and an anvil where hot ingots get transformed into items. To expand your business, you need to make money first. For now, the only way to do that is to complete requests on the map from different parts of the kingdom. Press M to open, the map, open up the map and accept a request. Lumberjack, from the thick forest, we are in need of your help. Our axes have become dull, hindering our work, and we seek high-quality axes to replace them. If you fulfill this request, we will teach you the art of carpentry, a skill that can be utilized to create new items. We need to create two tomahawks, and we will get carpentry the carpentry skill, which we're, where we can craft wooden items. Right, so let's get back in here then. So, craft menu, tomahawk here. So it's the 51, is that what it's going to cost to make? Or what we will get for selling. So it gives us a little recipe along the bottom left you can see there. Uh, use. Right, we pick up our ingots. Whack it in the furnace. Oh, oh hello, we've got a little mini game. Okay, yeah. Hoya! I'm assuming that was correct that I had to avoid those. Press E to use the hammer. That was right, wasn't it? I only, missed, I only missed one. Straight into the water to cool it off. And set the steel in place. And away we go. One tomahawk in there. And then we do the same again. I should imagine this is obviously one of the more simpler recipes to craft. Right, let's see if we can get all of them this time. Bosh. Oh, shit, it's E, isn't it? I tried to use the left click. Oh, no, that was really bad. So does that affect... Ah, oh, it's bonus. Okay, so there's a bonus... that you can achieve if you get all those right. I see, I see. Okay. So we only got 10 bonus on that one. We got 20 on the other one. You have crafted both axes and are ready to complete the order. So press M to complete. Jobs are good. Now that you have carpentry, you're missing only one tool to be able to craft wooden items. A carpentry workbench. We're going to be back into manager mode. From here, you can buy new furniture, new tools, unlock new blueprints, and later on manage your staff. So we're going to here then. So we have this one here, the carpentry table. Uh, anywhere you'd like. All right. Probably doesn't make sense to put it near the furnace, does it? Since it's made of wood. Uh, to rotate is it an X. We'll, we'll whack it there. Just 
Remember to keep completing map requests. That's how you'll progress and improve your workshop, like hiring new workers or unlocking new item blueprints. So on the first game, if I just pause here for a second, on the first game, if we just have a little look around, we had the number of customers that would come in or the number of patrons that would come in per day and the type of patron that would come in would help us unlock new things. Um, we could do events and we could... I'm trying to think what else was in there off the top of my head. Um... I think it was just that. And I think there were little daily tasks and challenges to do as well. So obviously that's our map there. What have we got here? So this is our blueprints. Uh, which, I mean, there's quite a lot in here, isn't there? I mean, that's not an ins insignificant amount of stuff. I mean, I'd imagine that doing things like the... You know, obviously we've got to upgrade things quite heavily to be able to do these sorts of weapons like rapiers and uh, katanas here, which is kind of cool. Um... So yeah, and we've got gold ingots as well, so we can make stuff out of gold. We've got tankards as well, so we can also just make cooking pans and general tools as well. That's kind of cool. And in this one here, this is our shop. So these things here. Okay, that's all very similar, the building, the actual uh, expansion of the, of the building itself. This is reasonably similar, what we're seeing there. Carpets and stuff, yeah. And there was a, yes, there was a beautification, this number of stars which was something that would aid you in attracting more customers and also just generally um, uh, making more money and be able to do more um, amazing things with your place. However, I don't seem to see... These points are used to unlock and upgrade blueprints. You earn them by assigning blacksmiths to use design tables. Right, so we actually have to have a research table. I think they did have one. I'm pretty sure we did have one. I, yeah... I'm struggling. I'm struggling to remember. But anyway, um, so let us carry on. Let us do some more requests here. So what do they want? Uh, we need three wooden maces. You can hire workers to help with crafting your items if we do that one. That just gives us more. Okay, well, we can do that one. Can we accept more than one? A knife, a scoop, and an iron goblet. Okay. Oh, okay. So we can only do one at a time. Okay, well, let's just do this. Let's just do this one quickly uh was it a kitchen knife they want wasn't it uh oh god what was the oh we need to go into that mode don't we uh kitchen knife i believe it was so is there a wooden step so this is looking like it's the same recipe as before or the same process as before i wonder if those get more difficult as well as you craft heavier items or more difficult items right let's try this again one two okay we missed out on two all right completed complete that fine let's do this one and then we'll do the uh the other one last where we can get some stuff Okay, that one was a little bit more tricky. On to here. Oh, nice and quick. Right, come on. Let's, let's get 100% of this one. Yeah, there we go. Right, we're rolling now. So I guess you can actually... It looks like you can just stack items. So you could just make a whole bunch of items. And just keep them rolling. So that you've just got stock there available to use when you need to. Okay, right, here we go. A little bit different this time. What mini game are we going to see here? It's another timing one. Lovely. Nice and straightforward that one. And then finally, we need the iron goblet. Yes, we've mastered it. We have a master blacksmith master. Lovely, that's that one done. Lots more money. Oh, we've got more contracts. All right, now we want this one. Oh, that actually gave us... What, what is this? Let's actually tell us what that is. 
Can we see what that is? What what currency that is that we, we keep earning, I see. I don't actually know what it is. But in any event, we will uh, we will do we will use our two scrolls, scribes, whatever they are, and use it to uh, to get cracking here. So we need to make three wooden maces. One. Did I just cancel that one I just made? No, I didn't. Okay, that's fine. Thought I'd cancel that for for a moment there. I am dead keen to get these staff though see how this game changes because at the moment this is sort of like playing a completely different game to tavern master i presume that i have to do this in this mode yeah i think i think i guess i must because we we didn't have i don't even think we had the option of having like a manager of our tavern effectively we you know we had lots of senior staff members if you like who were very very good at what they did but we didn't have this sort of overall manager that we have here. So anyway, right, that's now done. We can now hire staff. Uh, for now, you can hire blacksmith who, who crafts stuff and assistants who can move stuff around. It says for now. Does that mean there's other things we can have as well? Your employees work on their own and they always pay attention to you too. If they need a tool you're already using, they will wait for you to finish. In order to hire staff, you need to buy benches where they sit when they have nothing to do. So let's do that first. Back to manager mode. Staff. And we buy, effectively, we're buying a bench for them to sit on. There we go. Oh, that's the wrong button. For every bench, you can hire three employees. Let's hire two blacksmiths first. One. Oh, are we, oh hello. They've got skills, I can see. Look. Little points there. Working with wood designing. Yeah, so that's, again, very similar. I had stats in the first game, like the chefs had certain stats for doing desserts and starters and etc. Um, to hire employees, you need to pay a tax which rises with the total number of employees. Choose any two blacksmiths to hire. So every time we hire a staff, it gets more expensive to hire a staff, and then we've got to pay them a salary as well. Right, so this person here. So we've got design, carpentry, and metalworking. Metalworking determines the time it takes to process different ingot types on the anvil. Carpentry is the same thing, but for the, for the workbench, the carpentry workbench. And this designs, determines the amount of design points acquired in a day. So we realistically we could we could do with annoyingly with there's nobody who's any good at using a, the carpentry, but we're going to hire you because you're pretty smart, you're pretty good, and we'll take you. And you'll just have to be rubbish at doing the uh, the wood stuff. Okay, let's do our assistants, and again, so we've got walk speed and bag size. It's the number of items they can carry and the, and how fast they can walk. So it's going to be one of these two, isn't it? Francis or Bruce. We'll go with Francis because I like his haircut. All right. If you prefer to just manage the workshop without controlling your blacksmith, you can always use tab and open the manage mode, which will allow for free camera movement and speeding of time. That is it for now. You're ready to continue. So they've told us everything. And we're minus 85 for the day. Right. Okay. Um, so what do we need to do this? So we need two of these things. So these... I don't know what these are. They're some kind of like uh, some kind of currency, I guess, to allow us to maybe work for the the higher up stuff. I don't, I don't know. I, I'm spitballing, but you, you can see it's it's some kind of like entry currency, isn't it? Right. So if I do this, then start a new day, and then she will now get cracking and do that. Yeah, see, she's not as fast as me. I'd have had this done by now. So when... I wonder if at any point we can make him automated, or is he just gonna... 
Is he just going to stand around observing, looking, uh... Yeah, look, look, <laughs> looking like he doesn't really know what's going on. Okay, so that gets shoved in there. So that's our one item done. And then all of a sudden he will then come along and deal with that. I mean, I'm not sure he needed that bag and I'm not sure it's that heavy. But whatevs. Right, done. Start. So we've got two we've got two on this on this one. Are they both gonna get going? Yep, so they're both gonna split off. Now can we Yes, here we go. So we can well, that's the that's for leveling up. Tells you their stats and stuff like that. Craft for racks, design new items. Okay, that's absolutely fine. So it doesn't look like we can be specific about what jobs he does. So we can't tell him, for example, to just only go and do carpentry. Doesn't look like we can do that. Maybe that's something that comes later. Maybe we can be a bit more specific then. So it looks like they are effectively sharing the load, which is, yeah, it's fine. You know, this is early level stuff, so that's absolutely fine. And can you only carry, you can only carry one item at a time. Okay. <laughs> that's, uh, some carrying it. Okay, so this we can be a bit more, again, we, Something to come later, perhaps. Not quite the level of um, detail that we thought there. Right, this one. Get cracking on that one. And what was the request here? Five uh, tankards. We only have the one furnace, though. Do we? Should we think about buying another furnace? It's 400 golds. Let's just move it there for for, for a uh, for a moment. Yes, I know it overlaps with something else. I put it there for a second. Can we move? Can we move you? Move you there. Let's try and make this place a little bit more. I can't. He's using that. That's fine. Put that one there. We're going to move that one out of the way and see if we can fit and squeeze another anvil in the middle. And then we'll have one of them there and we'll have another uh, another water trough there as well. And we just need to find somewhere a bit more suitable to put this. We can put this out of the way. That can go in the corner as well. That can go there. Playing a bit of musical chairs here at the moment. And then that can go in the corner over there. Okay. Let's carry on. Let's see how that plays out. And the good thing is they can both do their do their stuff here again. Because it's one wood and one metal. Okay, right now we can move that. Can we squeeze another anvil in here? Yes, we can. You beauty. Look at that. How satisfying is that? I guess the only slight irritation is maybe can we maybe just put the put that oops, somewhere a bit more central. There we go. Okay, right. So that's that one done. So just if I leave that there, does he carry on while I'm going? No, it's paused. Okay. Good to know. So all on while I'm in that map view, that is paused. These are all the rewards at the moment. I suppose it's important to know that this is only a demo, right? So if you're sort of enjoying the look at this game, there's every chance that there's lots more to come. Lots more things to make. Uh, right, Blueprints allows blacksmiths to design new items for crafting. There we go. So now they can both get going and do this one. One of them will be done quicker than the other because one of them is decent at doing this and one of them is not so much. We spent a lot of money today buying new stuff. But it's all good. Right, we can speed things along here, which is what we'll do. Let's 
Look at them working away. One more to go until we finish this order. And he is also done. Bosh, there we go. To unlock new blueprints and upgrade the existing ones to increase the selling price of the items, you need to earn design points. Here is how. Step one, buy a design table. Step two, assign a blacksmith to design in the staff menu. Wait for the blacksmith to generate design points. Spend design points in the blueprints menu. Okay. Ooh, what we got here? Uh, so we need to do... You can see already the orders are getting a little a little bit bigger. Let's start with that one. So we'll get, get cracking on that. Uh, I'm not sure we're going to have enough space. Are we, are we already at the point where we're going we're gonna to need to extend this building? Can we build... I'm assuming this here is our border, effectively. How big is that desk? Yeah, it's quite large, that desk, isn't it? I think we are going to... I think we are going to need to, uh, to expand. How much is it to expand? It's not crazy, to be fair. to remove those walls. Are we going to are we going to have to uh, do some designing here? Right, we'll keep it the, we'll keep it the same for the sake of this. Uh, floor wise though, I feel like we can do we can we can uh, we can do better than this. Okay. Oh, and we need to. Oh, we need to also des design the interior as well. Um, is it the same? It's the same inside. How very common! I don't like that. Can we be better than that? That's not great, is it? That really doesn't go well with the flooring. <laughs> I didn't think this through. There we go, a nice little look. Oh, it doesn't actually cost anything to do this, that's fine. Right, there we go. Look at that, isn't that a bit nicer? Right. Um, that is sort of okay where that is. I feel now we probably need to... We have that there. We'll probably move these along just a little bit like this. just because I don't want this completely and utterly blocking the door. So maybe we just have those inside like that. We can still have that there like that, but we probably need the ingots somewhere fairly central. So maybe just have them sat behind like that. The wood can definitely stay over there. We can move the bench this way so we can have the wood in that corner. So we can leave that there. Uh, right, research desk for the time being is just going to go popped into that corner. Carry on. Um, I think we should get another assistant. Although we can't, can we? Because we, uh, we need another bench. Have we got money for another bench? We have. Sit them there. Uh, what have we got? Okay, you can carry more as well. So, right, you're in. We can get another blacksmith in who's hopefully going to be good at design. Uh, yes, yeah, so we'll get you in on... I think you're pretty good at the design side of things. We've got you who can just do the designing, to be fair, because you're... You're not very good at anything else, whereas you're good at carpentry and you're good at that. So we should be... It should be good there. So the one who's going off now to do the design. So he just stands there just earning points. Is that correct? I don't necessarily... Because the tutorial sort of suggested I needed to pick something 
from the blueprint list. I don't think that's the case. No, he's just going to earn research points regardless. And then we, uh, yeah, we get, we, we crack on. Okay, we're a little bit more efficient now. This is good. Why does the sound of that trunk closing sound like the, my car, my car uh, trunk closing? Calling it the trunk, my car boot door closing. It's a, it's a door closing. It's it's a car door closing. That's the sound. Right, we've uh, we've we've had quite an expensive day. Right, what can we do here? Shop. You can buy racks, a checkout counter, and sell items to customers. Okay, so that will allow us to just make things to order if in effect. So we'll uh, we'll do that one. Start new day. Because that way we can do just passive building, as well as uh, uh, building to order. So where's the the, the blueprint thingy here then? Ah, oh, here we go. So it's these things that have got these little unlocks. So I need twenty five. Just to unlock these ones. Okay. And it's 20 per day according to uh, what I saw up there. Yep, 20 per day. Okay, that's almost done on this one. Must admit, I'm liking this so far. This is just... I just love games like this where you can just kind of... It's not taxing. It's not, you know, it's not particularly taxing what's going on. Uh, shop on Racks Help. Besides crafting items for map requests, you can also sell them in your own shop to earn passive profit. Blacksmiths will craft items. Assistants will display them on racks and customers will come in and buy. Buy the racks. Choose what is displayed on each rack. Buy a checkout counter and then hire a cashier. Simples. Right, have we got one that's... Uh how much is that? And that's 260. That's 310. 420 for that one. 380 for that one. Go on, get honest. Try and get some money coming in, shall we? Uh, right. So I'm not sure we've got enough money for half of this stuff, though, I'll be honest. Okay, so that's a crate rack shelves. Okay, so we can have weapon racks. That does weapons and tools by the look of it. That is. I mean kitchen equipment <laughs> and weapon rack is there as well there's lots of other little racks in there as well staff wise special that's our counter so it's 150 for that and 100 for that so we can do it so we can if we wanted to have two racks set up there can we oh, we can also have one rack there and then have So where is our person going to stand there? Is my assumption is where they'll stand. I mean, I will need to move this around because, you know, we can't have... Unless we... Yeah, we, we would need to separate this out. So let's just see how this works first. And then we will... Um, then we will we'll try our luck here. Right, so... So at the moment... Oh, that's me. The other blacksmith is there doing research. Do we need to get another blacksmith in? Or do we just... I think we probably do need to get maybe one more blacksmith in. I think we can hire... We can have two more. Oh, no, because we can only have... Okay, that's kind of annoying. Right, we'll get another blacksmith in. Get you in. And then cashier. They don't need to sit down, apparently. They're fine. Communication skills determines the bonus received when customers purchase an item. So the higher, the better. I can't afford to hire a cashier at the moment. Okay, what? That's fine. Right, so who is my... Not you. Not you. Where's the other blacksmith that I've just uh, purchased? Here you come. So you craft for racks. And this one... Okay, so now here we can choose. So you will make wooden maces to go in there. To fill that rack. 
What can go in there? Ah, look, we can make all these wooden wooden scoops to go in there. And we'll have we'll have a bl we'll have bludgeons to go on there. Right. So at the moment, it would appear that. Everybody is just working towards doing this for the moment. You, in theory, yeah, you shouldn't be. So I guess you were just completing, when you first came in, you had an order already assigned to go and do one of them. That's fine. So you're now doing exclusively that. Uh, let's speed things along. So do I need to now make you... Just, you're just carrying items. Oh, there you go. So she's she's over there. She will put stuff across. That's absolutely good and proper. And look, oh, we've got a customer. Uh oh, we've got a customer in, and we've got nothing. We've got nobody to uh, <laughs> to to be on the desk. He wants to buy a wooden mace. Oh no, he's going to run out. He's going to run out of. If we can, oh, we might be able to do it. We might be able to do it. Okay, sell this. Now we can get a cashier in. Come on, Dorothy. In you come. Where's Dorothy? Quick. Oh, he's going to run away. Don't steal it. Okay, angry customer. We have an angry customer. Not much we can do. Uh, right, we'll, we'll do that one. But look, we have got customers coming in. And this is going to provide us a nice little passive profit with a bit of luck. Are you going to buy anything? What are you doing? You're having a very good look. I mean, there's literally one item on the rack. Right, how much how much are we selling for? 63 coins. Love to see it. Happy murdering. Okay, and all of a sudden we now need. <laughs> we almost need we almost need everything needs to be bigger already. We've already hit a bo a bottleneck. No one wants... How many can these hold? Don't tell me that knight was just coming. His missus has sent him in. They need a scoop. They need a scoop for the pick mix For the knight's annual party. But he's a typical man. He's come in and he's, his wife has told him to come in and get something, but he's been... His eyes... Oh, no, he's not buying anything. He's walking out without buying anything. Nothing... Took his fancy. Outrageous. Well, I can already see how this game would quickly get out of hand in terms of the sheer amount of uh, things that you can uh, create and sell. This... I'm not sure this is going to be enough. <laughs> this is going to be... We're going to have to start investing and in taking over these buildings, I think. I mean, you would need an entire wall of, of, of these furnaces. In the first game, in, in Tavern Master, you could actually upgrade a lot of these things and actually make them better and more improved. So, I, again, I wonder if that's on the planet. So I don't know if we can see... Oh, look, we've got bigger furnaces here. Here you go. This will be, be available in the full version. So there's bigger furnaces. Look, oh, look, you've got the uh, the sharpening things for sharpening the tools. There's that iron ore or something. So it looks like there's plenty of, of other things to unlock and make your place even more profitable. And how, what happens if we run out of... Uh, can we buy more iron ingots, by the way? And you can... Oh, there's an upstairs. Okay, well, there you go. So you can have multiple floors. We've got some decorations, some lighting and stuff like that. Um, interesting. Okay. It doesn't. I don't see a way. Was it? Oh, maybe it was in the blueprints. Was it? So you can buy ingots in, can you? How do you just buy? 
Maybe you have to. Uh, is that something you have to unlock? Was that in the? Was that on the map? Allows you to smelt ores into ingots using a smelter. Okay. So you can buy just buy iron ore in and do it that way instead. Right. Okay. So craft for racks quickly. And you. I know there are no blacksmiths crafting, crafting items for map stuff. That's intentional. That is by design. So that's that one done. We are just building at the moment. We're just trying to uh, in increase our stock. Oh, is, he le is he leveled up? He has leveled up. Um, let us make him level two on that. Four twenty, three ten, and what was that one? Two sixty. We'll do that one after they've had a little bit of um, time just to smash out a bunch of stuff. It's really just the these items here. It doesn't actually say how many they can carry. I mean, it looks sort of like there's space for six. Once the uh, the racks are fully, looks like we're twelve. What time is this finished? Are we midnight, midnight and done. Uh, there's a customer coming in at, at midnight for weapons. He's got a bit of pillaging to do in the early hours. Suddenly realise he hasn't got a weapon. Nothing takes his fancy on this occasion, and away he goes. Right, there we go. So it looks like they will finish their tasks. And then today... You will go back on to... For map requests. Oh, as will... As will you. Plus 465, good stuff. Start of a new day and away we go again. Passive incomes. It's a very nice. Oh, we've got enough uh, upgrade points to use as well. So we can now unlock. What should we go for? But you know, I think we should unlock a bow, shouldn't we? Let's unlock a bow. Because then we can have another rack. Oh, look. This one is specifically for uh, for bows as well. So there's another thing for our uh, carpenter to make. I think she is now making a bow. She is indeed. The one thing I would say I'm not a massive fan of is how everything is going through this. I'm not I'm not so sure. I mean, I can sort of understand why the guys on the blacksmith doing this for the map requests go through that, but I'm not sure those designing for interior racks need to go through this. To me, it feels like they can they should just be able to take it straight to the rack. And I know that sort of makes the the assistant a bit pointless. And maybe it's a much more of an easier thing to do, or much more of a necessary thing to do as your thing gets bigger. But I'm yeah, I'm not convinced, as I've just spent a lot of money there on wood. Uh, I'm not entirely convinced that in this scenario here where we're working right now that we need the assistant to do the rack stuff. Doesn't make a great deal of sense to me. What's this guy walking out with? What's he got in his hand? Oh, he's got a scoop. 66 gold that cost him. Oh, Ezio's in.
Right, I think we'll um, we'll keep speeding this through. But I think we've we've got a good gist here of what this game is going to offer. It's intrigued me enough. I'm interested. I'm for this. I would... L the, oh, my only criticism so far... There's two, there's two. My guy is kind of pointless. Now, from my perspective, I prefer watching and seeing my staff do everything, which is fine. But I would like to... I would like to think that maybe my guy can just act as a normal member of staff and just be quite skilled and be a really good person to have around. Or have him disappear. Have him do something other than just kind of stand around doing nothing. Because he just looks like a single bloke at a wedding at the moment. He's just absolutely standing there. has no idea what's going on. And I like the fact that we can get involved and do stuff. Don't get me wrong, I do like that. And it'd be cool is that, you know, you potentially make some of the more... Um, the bigger items. But I'm not sure that's a mechanic that requires... I, I don't know how many people are going to want to do that regularly. You know? I'm not sure, you know, those mini games are cool and everything, but I'm not sure how long that's going to keep people's interest. The, the, the bulk of this game, for me at least, is going to be purely around... Uh, the, the, the managing, sorry, I was taking a moment there because I was trying to work out if I needed anything different. Um, it's going to be purely based around the the managing of the staff. I, I don't I don't see people doing anything different. I don't see people using the main man to go around and do too much too often. I, I just don't. Um, and it also looks, by the way, that when we've got an order for like bows and wooden maces, that they're not going to go and take it from the stock. You have to make them fresh. The stuff, the stuff on the racks is the stuff on the racks. They are completely and utterly separate. As Francis has leveled up, give him a more carrying ability. Uh, what was that on the map I saw, by the way? What is this? You can hire more skillful workers. Okay, and that is it can be used to store ore anywhere in the workshop. Okay. And I did see that it wants me to buy a smelter now all of a sudden, which is that thing there. So we can actually craft raw ore. Because at the moment, I, I think these iron ingots are just kind of what you get given at the start of the game. But I think once they run out, unlike the wood that you can uh, just go and buy some more, you can't buy the ingots. You have to make, you can buy the ore, but then you've got to make the ingots yourself. Which is why it's given me that warning over here that I don't have any smelters for crafting. I kind of like the fact that everyone coming into the shop has to walk through the main part of the blacksmith. It's like you're walking through the factory so you can see where everything gets made. You can see how it all gets made. Uh, you can have another skill on that. But yeah, I mean, uh, as I say, the bulk of this game is, is very similar to Tavern Master. And for that reason, that's why I like it. They've not deviated too much from a formula that I felt worked really well for the first game. And as a result, we've uh, we've got a really, really cool game. Right, so that's another map request done. I wonder how big these requests get. Five of those, five of those, and 13 bows. That's quite the large request. Let's go ahead and do this one. So this one's 15 items they've got to make. at the point where we can unlock another uh, another one of these. We might just leave him on there for the for the moment, to be brutally honest. 
Yeah, it's I guess with the design, I mean you could almost have it what you would ideally kind of want is I want one side of this entire building to be dedicated to the blacksmith and then just have a, a shop out front. Now I've I've not laid this out like that at all. And I'm just kind of rolling with it because I'm more interested in the game mechanics rather than making this look pretty at this point. But yeah, if that's if we got the game when this when this does release later in the year, that is how I would do it. I would have a massive blacksmith workshop out the back with all of the stuff in there that they need and then have the front of house effectively with all the racks um, and everything there that you need. And I guess in that scenario, that is where these assistants become a lot more useful. I wonder if also you can filter, it doesn't look like you can at the moment, I wonder if you could potentially filter out what goes into each one. If you've got a much bigger, much larger area, um, potentially over multiple floors by the way as well, then um, it may be of interest to people to uh, to actually decide what goes into each storage bin it make, would make more sense uh, right so for these crates are used to store ores closer to smelters so assistants don't have to walk along path to the warehouse to fetch the ore um assign an assistant to carry ores click edit in the assistant menu step four choose source and destination for carrying ah so we have we have somewhere where they have to go to go and collect ore There's somewhere in our local village where they have to go and get ore. Is that is that the case? Oh, look, yes. So they have to go to that. I mean, it's not exactly our long walk, is it? But that's where they would have to go. Um, so at the moment, how much money have we got? 890. Let me squeeze that in there. That's quite large, isn't it? This is this is going to require a, uh, an extension to be built. But we don't have to worry about it. For We've got 71 ingots. We're, we're fine at the moment anyway. Uh, let's, take, let's take some larger orders, shall we? Let's do that one. Right, we're at 33 skill points now, so we can go the wooden pitchfork, the grill fork, butcher knife, ladle, or metal scoop. I think we're going to leave him going for the time being and see if we can maybe get into, you know, something into uh, into here. A hunter's bow, maybe. Wooden spear. There's a lot of research that would be required for these things, though. Really satisfying endings of the music there for the end of the day. We didn't spend a single penny, apparently. So when do we pay wages then? Apparently I didn't pay any wages for today. I mean I'll take a I'll take a day of slave labour, that doesn't bother me. So here's the prestige thing. One thing we haven't actually looked at is the uh, the decoration side of things, have we? So we can put some more uh, we can put some more lights in. On the uh, on the pillars. There we go. So we're now we're very well lit. From a decorations perspective. We don't have enough money for that. We've run we've run out of money already, right, okay. Um, so yeah, 23 to 35 customers now are going to come in. Is that per day? I'm not sure. Potentially, I mean, there's a fairly steady flow of people coming in right now. I mean, you could, once you... There, there will probably come a point where you can just kind of ignore all of these requests on here for a fairly sizable chunk of time and just do nothing but selling stuff to, to people. So this is obviously just a, a method by which you can unlock and just keep some money coming in by doing requests. But once you've kind of unlocked these racks and then started unlocking some of these more uh, bigger weapons that cost look, that cost more, just stop paying money to decorate your place out, attract more customers, and the request side of things becomes a little bit futile. 
Should we do a common sword? Oh, we can't. Oh, we can't unlock that anyway because we don't have the advanced metal working. So we might. We may. We may reach the. Um, we may have reached the limits of what we can do on our uh, on the demo here. Seventeen wooden maces I just saw there. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I think we've probably reached uh, the end point on this demo that uh, I feel like is worth showing you. I think everyone kind of gets the gist of the game, if especially, especially if you've played Tavern Master. I think you've got a, a good appreciation of where the game is. I've talked already a little bit about the things I'd like to see improved. I'd like to see some changes made to your own person um, and his usefulness when you're not actually using the first person mode. When I say first person, I don't mean literal first person. I just mean going in and actually building stuff and making stuff yourself. Um, I'd like to see some changes made to the assistance and the way in which they stock items in here because it does feel like it's... Sl really slows everything down quite dramatically especially in the early game it seems a bit of an odd thing to do um and at the moment at least it doesn't seem like you can do any kind of filtering in this it just i don't know i don't mind them having the point at which they can drop off and pick up but the the animation of like going in getting it out closing the trunk is just quite slow and it does slow things down considerably but on the whole i really like this um i'm intrigued to see where else this game will go um a little bit, do you know what is funny? A little bit like the first one. If you actually like drill down into the game, it is so simplistic and basic, it's almost insane. You get to a point where the game almost plays itself. There's almost nothing for you to do. There is so little micromanaging in this game compared to others that it's 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 almost a simulation game to the point where you're just watching things going on. But I don't mind that. I, there's something about this game. There's, there's something about the charm of this game that just... I don't know what it is. I, I, I just really enjoy watching everything happening and watching everything being made and being delivered. Um, it's just it's just a lot of fun. I, don't, I, I cannot put my finger on exactly why. Because in reality, the recipe of this game and how it is... You know, the, the gameplay functions of this game should be quite boring and it should be incredibly repetitive to a point where after a couple of hours you just feel like oh, I've done all this now I can't be bothered I don't want to do anymore but for some reason there's something with this game that makes you want to keep going and it makes you just want to unlock the next thing it makes you want to go oh look I can get an upstairs floor now oh look I'll have enough money to buy that in the next one oh look I can get a rack and get the new swords there's just something about it that just entices you in and makes you want to keep going um so i don't know let me know what you guys think in the comments down below this one is available on steam next so you can download this and try it out for yourself um we'll be playing lots of different games during steam next fest if there's anything in particular you'd like to see me try out and uh, then let me know i'm planning on doing at least one or two streams um during next fest to play some of these amazing games that appear on these uh, on, on steam i absolutely love next fest i think it's brilliant so uh yeah thank you very much everyone for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe and we'll see you all in the next one